Hey, let's go down this way. What's that? What is that? Just like a person. Welcome to The Dyer. It is a first person horror game and it is about Dean Holt, a popular urbex vlogger, sets off on another exploration of an abandoned home. But this time things aren't going as planned. Something dark is lurking inside and Dean quickly finds himself in over his head. So this guy is one of those explorer types who peruse abandoned buildings and such we're gonna see what he gets up to and now dean holt which is up my lane because i've seen some of this type of stuff five goddamn months finally back yeah take your equipment Jeez. Okay. His voice actor, so that's good. For our equipment here. Yeah. Annie, seriously, get yourself a new phone. I'm fed up with writing these stupid notes. Besides, we live 50 meters from each other. We could use those cup and string phones. Sure, I'll take you urbexing, but I'm not sure about the timing. School's been really stressing me out lately. Can we talk about it tomorrow? Nice. All right, let's get our backpack. <clears throat> What's this? The journal? The Raven. Is this Ed Edgar Allan Poe's? Huh. Oh, let me rotate. There we go. Is it? Let's see. Is it that Raven book? It is Edgar Allan Poe. Nice. Where else are you hiding stuff? Oh, that's a horrible crouch. Oh, that's not good. Any other things you hiding in here? Take a look at the wall before we leave. This guy's into some weird stuff. Alrighty, I know what we're getting into. I do like that picture. Silhouettes. The house there. Out in the middle of nowhere, it looks like. I think we got all that we need. Let's get out of here now. I really do think that we're on a time limit so let me out of here Whoop. all right let's go urbexing there's a truck is it ours or is it from a Poor soul who's not here. Oh, okay, it was ours. Four hours later. Let me guess it's dark. <clears throat> okay, let's start it here. Get the camera rolling. We are saddened to report the death of Diane Reed, the only daughter of the Reed family. Her body was found in the bathroom of their mansion at 8 o'clock this morning. The rest of the family was getting ready for breakfast at the time. Her body was found by her father, after which he immediately notified emergency services. An autopsy later showed that Diane had been dead for at least a few hours. 
It was ruled a suicide. It is was it really? used an old towel the family kept in the kitchen to suffocate herself. The reasoning behind her suicide is, as of yet, unclear. She was so young and innocent, always happy, always smiling. I can't believe this. Life seems to hurt the most innocent souls, said one neighbor of the family after the tragedy. Our hearts go out to the Reed family during these difficult times. To the Reeds. It's too bad we're not getting an actual cutscene. You're just Robert voices. But last night. game was made on the cheap. He left his high school friend's house three days ago when he was alleged to have crossed the plant field near Route 96. Since then, all trace of him was lost, making him the third high schooler missing in two weeks in Clover Springs. Clover High School has temporarily closed its doors. The police advise citizens not to leave their houses after dark and to be careful. And look what we're doing going out after dark. Yo guys, it's Dean, back again with another video. Sorry for the long break. I, I didn't have time to report anything. Uh, you know, family problems, school, you know. Another video, but we but can't we see it. back with a big one. I really had to dig to get these reporting. But let's quit the chit chat and get down to business. Really low budget. Springs, quiet town in Washington, green grass, fresh air, black coffee. In there, misspelled coffee. Family, respected, wealthy. Yet the daughter offs herself out of nowhere. After that, things get really weird in that small town. Few people disappear, including the rest of the Reed's family. Spell, Miss Bell Father, disappear. mother, and son simply vanished. No trace. After a year, the town is basically abandoned. We'll move Miss Bell there. abandoned. I went online and stumbled upon this interesting theory. Bell online. In which Diane's father was responsible for those missing teenagers. Some sources Mom, state that Diane was this. heavily bullied in school. And that would be the reason why she... So the father, seeking revenge, chose those teens, buried them somewhere, and then flies to Cuba. I don't know. It's just a theory. There isn't much information about the Reeds anyway. Especially about the girl. She must have never left the house or something. Well, now their house is a dope urbex attraction. And probably some satanic bullshit place. But that's every abandoned building. And also every forest. It would be nice if you showed us this scene instead of just having us watch a black screen with some text. That would be nice. <sighs> About time. You could have done this. We are here. The main road has been closed many years, so I had to park the car a little further away. And let me tell you, of course you those did. trees are creepy. Feels like they're looking at me. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna stay on the road, I guess. With our camera. The Urbex killer is gonna be out, I bet. We've been hearing about those disappearing, those uh missing teens. We're probably gonna see firsthand who's responsible. It's just this makes sense. Let's go in the abandoned house, okay. shall we? Let's take a look inside. I got. I keep forgetting you gotta hold the button in this game. We're in. What we got? Here we are. <sighs> this place almost didn't age at all. The furniture's all messed up, and the windows are nailed. But other than that, pretty good. Yes. The mansion was built in the 1930s, and it, it seems that three different families lived here. Reads were the last. Okay. I do appreciate that there is a... Uh... You always gotta watch out for homeless people in these places. I once heard about a guy jump by a hobo with a crowbar in some... Boy, that? ...abandoned railway station. If I had to rank what I don't want to experience while urbexing, hobos with crowbars are a close second. First, they're probably collapsing floors or hobos with knives. Our objective is to explore the house, the mansion, or whatever you want to call it. And that's what we're doing. This good so far.
In a heartwarming turn of events, three missing teenagers have been found safe and sound in a quaint town of Culver Springs. Okay. This guy, without this camera, we're here in complete darkness. I would not be here. It's literally pitch black without this. this guy is brave. Everything's intact. No looting has happened. This must be the dad's office. Guy's name was Clint Reed. I didn't really find much information about him, only that he was apparently a lawyer. Found the dad's office. Some of their neighbors, but they weren't really helpful. Most of them, at least. They didn't remember any details, as if they have some kind please, of collective amnesia. Please feed Remy. Maybe Remy was the dog, yeah. the pet. Oops. Oh, guys, pitch black. Remember that? It's weird that some interactions usually E, but it's left click to interact with some stuff. Not everything. That's throwing me off. All right, we found the office. Let's go back and look on the other side of the place. The bathroom. May she rest in peace. This is where she died. May she rest in peace indeed. This is boarded up. Need a crowbar, huh? Guess we're going upstairs now. It's going up the stairs. So it plays fine, smooth. Not too many hiccups. There are a few at times. But, uh,. The dyer. The doctor was here and examined her, and he said that the illness is not spreading at all. So far, just a bunch of notes. Backstory of the place. So we can go down the hall. And the daughter. She got very sick at one point. Something with her spine. She got really deformed. The pain was so intense, her parents were locking her up in a room just to muffle her screams. Okay. I guess we can't go in this room that's cracked open. Go in this one, though. This door is open. That's the boys' room. The boys' room. This place looks a bit run down. Yeah, that's where the breeze is coming from that window. Interact with the doll. Be funny if that thing got up and ran away. Crack door still cracked. Right, let's go down this way. What's that? What is that? Looks like a person. We'll check that out in a bit. It's probably gonna be a jump scare. That is where the parents left. That, I think. All the interior was left behind. Wow. 
Now we're starting to get a lot of uh, door opening sounds. Today, late at night, as I was going downstairs to the bathroom, I saw Diane. She was standing in the corner of the dining room. But I felt like I saw her twitching. I wonder if that was is that if that's a dummy out on the oh, door's locked. Okay. Now we can see. Never mind. Okay. Now we can see if that is a real person or is it a dummy? Let's see. What are you? Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. His brother was a ventriloquist. And that's probably his doll. They were in good condition. It's a ventriloquist doll. Okay. Let's we'll see if this thing gets up later. Still in good condition, he says. Really messy in here. I suspect this was Diane's old room. Diane's older. The doctor told me that I'll be taking a break from school. Blah, blah, blah. This is Diane's message. Never really liked school and such. So she said. Well, you know me. I don't give up this easily. How to find the code. So we gotta find a code to this door. Our guy doesn't give up easily, he says. So far, they're, they've held off on the scares. I am surprised. No, uh, no jump scares, not too many. And it, the only thing is just sounds in the background. But that's not too unsettling. Yeah, like stuff like that. It sounded like a chair was scooting. That's the only thing. Let's go back downstairs and see if the code could be down here and something. Now we probably got to pay attention to those notes more. Like this one. So far, so good. It's been just just loading us into this false sense of security before they dump a jump scare on us. It's waking. So far, nothing. But what's this? Prescription. Oops. Okay. I missed that the first time. Piano. Scary game's not complete without one. Oh, I didn't interact with that, these pictures. Let's do that right quick before we end this. Oh, that's a code piece. Okay, 32. 32 blank blank. Uh oh, someone's out there walking. Did you hear that? Yep. And so it begins. But we got 20 seconds before our timer, so we're going to stop it here. Cliffhanger time, and we'll pick it up another time. How about that? Can we get out? How about that? Yep, we can. <laughs> That's how we'll do. We'll leave and call it a day. Ending number one. <laughs> you just leave. Dean can handle the pressure of returning to vlogging. Here his story comes to an end. Can handle the pressure. He took that was the smart decision. Just leave. That's the best ending in my opinion. The dire.
Until next time.